Now, if you want to be big boy on the block, you might want to start by dressing smart. But according to high-end retailer Jim Castles, there's more to be said than just the threads. The rest of the stuff that goes with the threads. There we go, and 20. At his simply the best store on Broad Street in Victoria, Castles brings home the finer things in life. And this merchant is mostly for men. The true old world stuff. Almost nothing made in China, mostly European. Jim's been in the high-end side of the retail industry for over 40 years proving that there still is a demand for quality. Rather than getting everything that's mass produced that falls apart. It doesn't have to be the most expensive, but it has to be the most unique in its category, or it must have great features that the rest of the products don't have. Good afternoon, simply the best. At the core of this business, fine tip fountains and like a boss ballpoints. If it's a pen you need, or Castles carries over 10,000, starting with the 2995 working man's pen. Exactly, so you have a level built into your pen. Excellent for the carpenter. We also have three different rulers. And if you notice, it's hex-sided, so it sits where the ruler needs to be. It's an iPhone, iPad, touch screen. And then simply unscrew the top. We have a flathead screwdriver. Turn it over magnetically, and you have a Phillips. Like a watchmaker's size. Exactly. You, you know what I like about the ruler on the pen? You know how long the pen is? <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to fountain pens, one popular brand with customers is the Lamy, designed and made in Germany. Hey, can you put a, a fine nib on? I certainly can. They're just a really good, relatively inexpensive, but versatile fountain pen. So they last forever, complete image of sustainability. They don't need electricity, you just have to put ink in them every once in a while. So What do you use a fountain pen for? I write a lot. What do you write? Uh, all sorts of things. I teach out at Royal Roads University and teachers are writers. If you have a bigger budget and want more history in your chosen writing implement, well, you can thank the Germans for crafting another pen to suit. Well, uh, Graf von Faber is actually like the highness of the German. So this is based on Catherine's Palace in St. Petersburg. All Russian jasper, all hand laid, platinum trims. And I don't know if the camera can get that, but that's all hand engraved. 18 karat gold nib. Uh, quite a collector's item for people, and people use them to write. All right, and everybody wants to know, what's the price tag of this pen? A mere 4,950. I, I like accessories, and I could always use more. I, I try and get lots of, uh, lots of pocket squares, lots of tie clips, those kind of things that are really accessible and practical to use, so. This is the Savile Row Super Badger, made in England, uh, shaving. Uh, we don't have much time for it anymore. Lathering up in the morning, you can start enjoying shaving again instead of going, oh, I have to shave. People are in, uh, talking about sustainability, landfill and all that. You keep throwing those $5 Mach 5 blades in the garbage. You buy a nice uh, safety razor. The blades cost anywhere from 40 cents to $1 for the best one you can buy. Outlast the Mach 5 and 20 times closer shave. You were saying something about these are the queen's own? So this particular pattern actually was given to the queen when she first got married. That's the one she chose in her bridal registry. It's made by Moser of Czechoslovakia. And it's the, even though it's the hit thing today, it's the only crystal in the world that uses no lead. The Pope had Moser, Liberace had Moser. In fact, he was the biggest single customer of Moser. This is 24 karat gold laid on one little square at a time. And then they put it in the kiln and fire it onto the body. And then a guy has to scent with a burnishing stone and burnish every square inch. So this gold is forever. Now all you need is some vintage wine. Exactly. So to sum it up, do accessories make a man? Well, I don't know if anything makes a man besides the man's character, but it sure helps. Lathering up around some refined retail in Victoria, I'm James Green.